Hello, what's up and welcome to the channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to do a full setup on SimU 1.12.2, how to set it up from the, from the beginning to the end and with everything what, that you actually can imagine of with co the controller setup, the shader cache, the graphic packs, everything that you need and after this after the guide i will do as well a guide how to get the games for simu uh the simu emulator because of uh, the wii u wii u helper is not uh it's, it's not working anymore as it did in the in the in the past because the original developer did actually um stopped uh, supporting um, the the Wii U helper and with that but we got the work around um, and I'm gonna show you how to do it and how actually to get the games and uh, yes with anything further to do oh shit <laughs> with anything further to do guys let's hop to my let's hop into my desktop and let's begin with the tutorial see you there welcome back let me before we begin with the with the, the setup guide. Uh, what I highlight wise is to install um, C++ um, 2017 for your for your Windows and to check out if your graphic card or, or should I say GPU supports OpenGL 4.1. If it doesn't support uh, OpenGL 4.1 and above, then, then then the rendering of the games with the CMU emulator 1.12.2 and whatever version as, uh, as well not gonna uh, render correctly. With this all done, with it all said, let's begin. So the first thing you need to do, we need to go to our CMU 1.12.2. We need to go to 7-zip and extract here. As we have the folder instructed. Take the take the take the folder that we have that we did by the side so you know what you did and what you did not. I do this always. So with this with this done, open the SIMU folder, drag SIMU hook inside the SIMU folder 1.12.2, click the left right click and extract here. So, with this done, you will get Keystone DLL and you will get DGBGL Help DLL, if I didn't say it wrong. With, it, with, it done, with this done, you drag the SIMU hook folder that is compressed out and put it again where you put the last folder when you're done with what you did. With that said guys, we are keep going. Now what you need to do, we need to go to graphics packs, we need to go to graphic pack folder that we have here, the same thing, drag it in, right click, 7-zip and extract here. This progress is going to take a little bit of time, but if you have a more or like decent, decent PC, it will be not that long at all. For me, it's not gonna take as much as uh, it might take maybe for you. It depends on, on what CPU or PC you running. With this, are we done? You will see the most compatible games that runs uh, graphic packs and games, of course, the game, the graphics of the games that are compatible for right now for the CMU uh, CMU emulator 1.12.2. With this all done, scroll to the to the to the end, and you will see the folder that you actually extracted in the graphic packs folder as well. Click on it. Oh, you can drag it, but I'm gonna do as well, and we're done. Put it again by side other folders. With this all said, I would I would close, drag it up here, open it again, and then you go to your shader cache and you go to transform transferable i think here's my shader cache for breath of the wild take it inside and close the folder refresh a little bit go in again in simu 1.12.2 folder this time open simu 
All right. And uh, directly when you open the same, you, you will see here, it will, there will be download now. This is because you did extract the semi hook um, files, the DGLL and DGBL, if I'm not wrong. Just click download and uh, it's going to download, it's to extract and download the latest um, semi hook files for your semi emulator. With this out of the way, we're gonna do actually some enhancement. What I did, already did, I think, in the previous uh, previous uh, video uh, for me, of course, off screen. What you need to do: go to SimU, right click, properties, compatibility, and what you need to do is exactly what I show you. I can actually dis dis unclick those, so uh, so I can show you actually what I did. So I can actually as well apply. So once again, you go to your SimU, right click, properties, compatibility, and you want to click, I'm gonna take this away. You wanna disable, disable full, 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 full screen optimization. You wanna enable, of, uh, of course, enable, sorry. You can't, because when you click it, it's enabled, right? So you want to enable, run this program as administrary. My English is bad, sorry guys, please. And then you want to go to change high DPI settings. And you do the same for those as well. They will be for you unclicked, so just cl uh, click them. And keep it at application. For some people, application does do the work. And for other people, does it system enhancement. It depends up to you. I do recommend application, but uh, the choice is to you, whatever runs better. Click OK, apply and OK. With that done, go again to the CMU folder, click on your CMU. And so now, so uh, in, he in here guys, we're going to add the games. As you might see, I don't have any games so far so what you need to do if you don't have a games this section right here will not apply to you and I will do a guide on how to get the games because unfortunately uh, the Wii U helper uh, developer or like who did do, who, 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 who who did that did actually the program not supporting the Wii U helper anymore and it doesn't work but we got to work around uh, in the community and I will show I will do a full guide on how to get the games for Simu emulator anyway so what you need to do you need to go to options general settings and you see is here you can put whatever language you want I'm gonna put at default it depends on you you have any other languages go ahead and go for it you I'm gonna click double okay double click I'm gonna go for my in my case wherever you saved your games I saved in my games and as you might see and uh, Wii U games and I'm gonna select the folder and I'm gonna exit and my game will pop up Breath of the Wild in case your game will not pop up like I did like it's did for me no problems at all you right click refresh game and your game should be popping off the next thing I want to do, the next thing you're going to do, install game update and DLC. So I'm going to go now, again, this PC, depends on where you, where, where you did put or saved your DLC and updates. I saved in as well in the, go in, oh sorry, you have to go to meta and click on it. It's actually going to take a quite a time. So I gonna actually pause the video right here and come back when it's done. All right guys, welcome back. We are almost done with installing installing the DLC and I just want to show you what it's gonna look like when it's gonna install actually correctly. Update installed. It's gonna say update installed, but it's actually the DLC. So that is the same thing you do with the DLC. You go into files, install games, update and DLC. You go, you go, this is the DLC, you're gonna know, and this is the update right here, but you're just gonna read, as you might see, it will say, World of Wild update, and this will see, say, it's DLC. You go to go to the DLC folder, uh, update folder, meta, and just click it, and it will install the update. Now for Breath of the Wild, it's coming to be, of course, be the latest 
version. Unfortunately, I cannot give you any information on how and where you get the games, but as I said, just write in the in the in the and the, on, on Google Wii U title key and you might find the website where you're gonna get it when you're gonna use Wii U helper. With that all said guys, I'm gonna again hop away from here, pause the video and see you when the update's gonna be installed. See you later. All right guys, we're almost done with the update and it's update installed as well. So, with getting the update and the DLC, we are going to refresh and as you might see version 2.0 DLC is installed and the latest update as well. With this all done, we are going to now configure, configure the, the, the input settings. So what you are going to do, option, input settings. Um, I, I'm gonna use my uh, PS4 controller for the CMU 1.1.1.1, what I ever always use. I'm gonna go for the in X input and I'm gonna select my. I'm gonna use a Wii U gamepad and my controller one should pop up. If you don't know how you set up, you uh, Wii U. Wii U gamepad and you just Google it. Get get like how get like the the control of the Wii U uh, gamepad and you're good to go. I'm gonna set mine real quick. A, B, Y. Hold up, this is X, and this is Y. Then you're gonna left, right, or whatever. I think yes. Plus pop. Um. Up, down, left, right, and the same thing. Up, down, left, right, and then like up, down, left, right. And for the blue button, I do use the F. With that all saying, don't, the rest thing you need to do, just profile, name name your gamepad. I'm gonna name it just MU Gaming. MU Gaming save and you're done but before you do that just go to dead zones and put it to 10 at the boats and you good actually to go i'm sorry here let's get back to this and i think now let's change shave it again oh, hold up and i think we're good to go let's just load this yes and we actually good to go with this all thing with this all done just exit out of it and here and you good to go with the controller and whatever all right with the control done and we setting up everything i'm gonna see you in the next section of the video see you there now in this in the next section here guys we're gonna go again after we did everything that i showed you we set up the controller we did everything what we need to do uh, we could actually uh, boot up the, uh, the CMU, but what we need to do, uh, we're gonna put actually up, we're gonna boot up CMU right now. We can actually boot up the game and play, but before doing that, we're going to, f to uh, option and you're going to graphic packs. So, you scroll down to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. What you need to click is um, no depth of field, 1080p. Let's see, what do I always use? Then we need um, clarity, FPS plus plus. Let's see, let's go low on that S. Uh, L LWZX crush around, always highly recommend recommended. And we have the Nvidia explosion smoke. And you could use actually Pro X hood, but um, it depends on you. If you want to hurt, you can keep it. If you want to keep it clean, then it's something else. And uh, yeah, I think this is all the Legend of Zelda: The Wild status. Uh, square, and you you need to do this as well. Square like Rocky Tour, and uh, you're good to go. You can close it. And by the way, guys, if you have other other games and you might let's let's see, you have my record. And you did to go to graphic packs and you did actually clicked for the Mario Kart. Let's see if you can find Mario Kart. Mario Kart, come on. 
let's pretend this is Mario Kart, right? And you you click it, you click like what everything. Don't you worry. Whenever you play the game, it will always activate those graphic packs for this game that you're playing right now, and no other graphic packs either. So only for you that you know. With that all said, guys, the next thing you need to do is, as you might notice right here, I have game profile Breath of the Wild. So what you need to do, go to your Breath of the Wild game, right click, open game profile. I'm gonna link the this this right here in the description in the do, in comment in the, in the description below, where you can just copy that and paste it right here where I showed you, like that. Go your file, save, and you're done. So you might asking what did you just done, Emu? So the thing that I did right now, guys. Uh, it depends on if you have i3. Uh, if you have i3, then I would recommend for you to use the single core recompiler. If you have i5 that has four or more cores, I would recommend to use the uh, triple double core. Right? Is it the double core? I don't know what what, what thing what this thing used. So just a minute, let me check it out really quick. I'm really not good in this. So that is once again, if you have i3. Right, use a single core recompiler fast. Do you have a dual core, uh, dual core processor with four, co four and more? Like, no, you know what I'm, but I'm saying dual core. Then use the dual core uh, recompiler fast. And if you have i7, as me, as I got, then you're probably gonna have a triple core. Uh, and you can probably use the future of the triple core recompiler fast. That is, that's gonna only the breath of the wild profit from it. So. But you might asking why are you not doing it manually because I want to always keep as, I, as you might say my latest uh, how to fix like the crashing what not for Mario Kart I always tell you go just keep the single core recompiler fast you when you always play new other games they not gonna need the triple core because they just perform perfectly on the single core plus if you keep your if you play your other games beside Breath of White with the triple core it's gonna freeze or crash the game so by doing actually this is actually whenever you play Breath of the Wild, it's gonna hop automatically to triple core recompiler, and whenever you play your other games, they, it's gonna be the single core recompiler. So you don't have to always hop up and down and change the CPU settings. Uh, I don't know if I did save, but you know what? I'm gonna save for the sake of this video. So with this all done. Um, Let's close this and all right guys now to the last section of the video um, is that you're gonna go to your desktop after we set up the graphic packs we did the game game profile we go you go now to your desktop you select Nvidia control panel wait for it to open just like this you go into adjustment image setting with uh, preview and you, if it's not selected, select use the advanced 3D image setting as I did. Go to manage 3D settings and go to program settings. Wait for it a little bit. As you might see, I have Simu, Simu AXE selected. In case it's not going to show up for you and you click and you might not see it here somewhere around, you can add. And if you don't see it in add anywhere, let's see as example, what you can do is uh, browse, browse for it. And in case, let's see, I saved my on my desktop. So I'm going to go to desktop, simu folder, and just add, you're going to select the simu exe file and just click open. But because I have it already selected, I'm not going to do that. And it's gonna show it will show up like just like me so let's make it bigger what you or like not that big but like big enough so that you actually can see it all right this is good enough for me so what you need to do is anti-tropic filtering guys put it at it off then going down to uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see what would I sudo no not this maximum rendering frames guys put it at one. Let's go further. OpenGL rendering GPU 
put it the G4 GTX 1060, it depends on what your graphic card is, the main one. Don't put it at automatic. Scrolling down power management uh, mode, put it at performance maximum, uh, prefer maximum performance. And it's just on that least, let's see if we can. Those two texture filtering and stropic sample option is off and texture and filtering negative load glaze is allowed. This will be automatically and keep it as they are. Uh, once and not least, threaded optimization, put it at on. And the same thing with the triple buffering, put it at on. Only those options here guys alone gonna give you like 10 to 15 FPS boost. And uh, you actually good to go apply. There we go and close. With all done, with this all done, guys, um, just go you go to your game, open Simu, just like this. I go and um, open. We can open the game, and we, if you did everything as I showed you, it should uh, work just perfectly. Of course, because it's the first time and it's a new version of uh, CMU 1.12.2, it's going to take me a little bit longer time than it actually does. As you might see as well, my customized shader cache is loading as well correctly as I showed you. Um, yes, um, with this all said guys, um, I'm going to wait till it loads to the end and I'm going to see you um, when the game starts. And I'm gonna show you what you have maybe to do to get even the most out of it and whatnot. See you. Um, as I told you, I will come back when it's uh, got done loading, and it's 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 almost there. Of course, I did or I did get it in, did in play it a little bit so we get actually a game save. So we I and it's gonna spare you the oh Link, please wake up, it's your mama, and all this shit, you know, no. Don't get offended by all because I saying that I love Link, man. I have I have the real. I gonna get the real Switch, but I gonna have it, and I gonna do a, actually a comparison video on like how close are we actually at this point when it goes to emulation and the real thing. You know, you feel me? So it should start up uh, almost here somewhere. I think if I'm not wrong. All right, guys. Um, Okay, we got the DLC shares and whatnot. <clears throat> All right, guys, I actually gonna I actually skipped, and uh, we all know in the title skins it take me a little bit longer than it's supposed to. This pop up, but uh, as you might see, the controls works just fine while I'm, you know, while I'm clicking. So that means we're good to go. New game DLCs version 1.5.0 DL. Version 1.510 and DLC 0 .0, 3.0 is there. So that means everything that's correctly. We're going to continue. And I, like I said, I did play it a little bit. So I'm going to spare you the O link and whatnot. I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm going to show you. I'm not going to like make it full screen. So because I want to show you how much FPS I get actually with the new build. And with the setup that I actually showed you. And you're not going to be disappointed. It's my... It might go a little bit down when it goes to performance right now because I do uh, record my gameplay right now. The webcam as well. It takes some memory. It takes some, you know, some some power off the PC. But this is understandable. I got actually 51 FPS. I never had this before. But you will see the performance actually for yourself. Right now, guys, I'm having 41 FPS stable so far. I, I cannot stable, but with recording the game, of course, having my webcam on and whatnot, I got 30, 36 to 40 FPS. You see, the game runs smooth, it looks beautiful. What can I say? Uh, tutorial accomplished and uh, successful, in my opinion. No no hagging, no jagging, no nothing. Looks just beautiful. And uh, we're going here in the Great Plateau, guys. We're talking about the Great Plateau. It is a really heavy place and whatnot. I'm I'm happy. I cannot complain. It looks just amazing. It's run smooth. You keep in mind this game is for the Wii U and it's supposed to run 
30 fps so we run actually above its actually actual um performance but as i said guys when i do not record and i do only play the game i have 50 fps without a doubt okay we have here a little bit of jack okay this is because of the enemy and whatnot you're gonna go down a little bit and uh let's see if i can get somewhere where it's actually safe and nobody is actually fall pig please dude all right no i cannot complain we get really good fps and good performance whatnot game works just fine and now what i want to tell you is to order to play the game uh actually even better and smoother and i keep the frames as good as possible as you might see now 47 fps so what you need to do you go to option you go upscaling, you do you put in billionaire billionaire as I did, then you go full screen scaling, keep the expect ratio, GPU, cash per accuracy, low, fast. So this is not you don't need all that, blah blah blah. Let's see, anything else? And the last not not least, really you're gonna give me tutorials. Uh, if you wanna keep it, want the game to play it at its best. Like without any glitching and whatnot, full sync as GXD drawdown. Put it on. It will take a little bit for new FPS, but the Brie goblins, I, I call them goblins, will actually animate correctly and not glitch. Even the animals and sometimes do glitch and whatnot. So GXD drawdown will actually fix this problem for you. And of course, now you're going, you're going to CPU. As I told you in in the in the. In the setup, we did already that with the game profile, so it's always when you're going to run it, it's going to be a triple core, recompile it fast in case you have um, have a, like i7 and whatnot. If you don't, then this don't apply to you and you might have to change the game profile to single core. Um, Archifinity, keep all logical cores, timer guys, host base timer. Then you go to debug and let's see what would what, what did I do what did I bleh. All right, you go to MM timer accuracy, put it in one milliseconds. Then you go to customer timer, put it in QPC and one max speed. With it all done, guys, you're gonna get oh, you get the most possible um. FPS possible guys to get the best performance out of it of course as I told you it runs, it runs just fine for me smooth it looks beautiful at 1080p what can I say clarity thing as well I don't have a glider right oh, hold up let me kill those and end this video right here come on link come on man push all right one is dead Come on, push! Oh my god, this is so weak. Push, holy ass. There we go. Is he gonna die? This is my question. No, he's not. Well, okay, guys. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you didn't. And subscribe to the channel. My name is Emu from Emu Gaming, guys. And I'm freaking out of fear. Peace.